there is nothing scarier than a hungry person. Take a hungry person and add a person who's doing physical activity all the time. Recipe for disaster. Keep watching to find out what I'm talking about. Hey, my name is Kyla Denanyo and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are talking about a book that I was not expecting and it really was an interesting read but we'll get into it. Let me not jump too far ahead. So the book was called The Turnout and as you know I choose all of my books by the covers. I saw this cover I didn't really know what to expect but I was like okay it caught my eye it looks interesting let's read that. The author of the book is Megan Abbott. The genre of the book is fiction and the theme of the book is suspense thriller. Now I will say this, this was basically a psychological thriller and I would almost even, like I wish that the library had a different category for gaslighting because it's a very special kind of suspense and thrilling which like gets down into my bones and I'm like ugh, you just get that icky feeling because you're like did that happen? Did it not happen? Like gaslighting is so scary. That's happening in this book. There's a lot of repressed emotions and feelings going on so it was definitely a psychological thriller. So a big plot twist to the book was when you find out that Derek has a relationship with the sister. He's a, a secondary character. He's dating one of the sisters and they both are running a ballet studio. And so I hated Derek. I absolutely hated him. I mean like Joffrey from Game of Thrones hate hated him. And it was interesting how Derek kind of got the sisters and the husband to bond together. But I really just did not, oof, I did not like Derek at all. <laughs> and why was this plot twist important to me? It was really important because you're learning about the siblings. You're finding out, okay, they run this dance studio together. Surprise, they're preparing for the Nutcracker performance. So there's nothing on the front of the book that shows you a Nutcracker that looks like snow, that looks like winter, anything. So that was a really big surprise for me because I'm a huge fan of the Nutcracker. Like right here, I got a little Nutcracker. I love Nutcrackers. So I understand why they don't have any of that holiday cheer and all that stuff on the cover of the book. So they probably don't want it to be lumped into being a seasonal read. However, it was really surprising to find out that they were preparing for the Nutcracker. I've been to the ballet. I love to watch the dancers and hear the music and all of it. I've never considered what was happening in the lives behind the people who were running the show, behind the dancers, behind all of it. So that was really important to me because ballerinas date, they get married, they do all the stuff that regular people do. And this ballerina happened to date someone named Derek who I despise. <laughs> so yeah, so really interesting read. Um, not a book that I would reread. Not at all. I, I can say I almost put the book down a couple times because I was I was trying to track where the book was going. I wasn't sure and the ending of the book was really really surprising to me. And so yeah, definitely not a book that I need to reread. In fact, I hope that Megan Abbott just has an incredible imagination and this did not happen to anyone that she knows or if you read the book you'll understand but yeah, not a book that I need to reread. So thank you for watching. I, I'm so glad that you're still here. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if you have seen the Nutcracker. Let me know if you've ever thought about being a ballerina, if you used to dance, all those things. And let me know if you've read any books by the author Megan Abbott. I love to hear from you. I always like to respond to comments and just talk to the people who are watching the videos. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next week on Kyla's Reading Day.